Today we are going to learn about place value through tenths and hundredths. Our first vocabulary word is decimal. A decimal is a number that uses place value and a decimal point to show part of a whole. First we're going to learn about tenths. In fractions, if we had one-tenth, we would write it like this, one-tenth. In decimals, we would write this like this. So we have zero holes, then our decimal point, and then one-tenth. One way to remember decimals is to think of money. So if I have a dollar and 34 cents, the one dollar would be our, our ones. The three would be like dimes, and those are our tenths. It takes ten dimes to make one dollar. Then we also have pennies, which are like our hundredths, which we'll get to next. So here we go, hundredths. In a fraction form, we'd have one hundredth. So those are pretty small. If we're breaking something into a hundred pieces and we just have one, that is a very small fraction. In decimal form, we'd write it like this. We have zero holes, not enough to make a tenth, and just one hundredth. So if we were making a place value chart out of this, this would be our one's place value. And for the first time, instead of going to the left from our ones, we're going to be moving to the right. So after our decimal point, we have our tenths, and then we have our hundredths. Our problems today include some figures. So here we have a box divided into ten pieces, so this would be tenths. Ten tenths makes a whole. So if I shade in three of these tenths, last chapter we write this as three tenths, but in decimals we would write this like this. We don't have any holes, our decimal point, and then three in our tenth spot. If we break this hole into a hundred pieces, and once again shade in three of our pieces, if this was a fraction, we'd write three one-hundredths, which is a very small part of that whole. In decimals, we would write this like this. We don't have any holes. We don't have a whole row of ten filled up. All we have are three in our hundredth spot. So here are some problems. You're going to have a model, and you need to write what the decimal is. So, since this is in 10 pieces, all I have to do is count how many of those I have. So I don't have any holes, put my decimal point, and then how many tenths do I have? I have 7. So we put a 7 in our tenth spot. Simple as that. That's my first example. Here's my second Okay, same thing. This time, I have some of my rows that are all the way filled in, and I have part of another row. So instead of counting every single one of those little tiny boxes, I can kind of clump those rows into tens as I go. So once again, I don't have any holes. And then how many tenths do I have? So ten of those little blocks all the way filled up to make a row. I have three of those, so I can put that in my tenth spot. Even though they're hundredths, I filled in three of those rows, and I can turn those into what would be the same as tenths. Think of it like pennies and dimes. If I have ten pennies, I could turn that in for a dime. So I have three in my tenths. Then how many hundredths do I have left? Well, I've got one, two, three, five, seven, eight hundredths. That goes in my hundredth spot. So all together we have 38 hundredths. 
We can write it like that as a decimal. Here's some problems for you to try, and then we'll check and see how you're doing. Let's go ahead and pause, write this as a decimal, and then unpause to check your work. Alright, if you got two tenths, you got it right. Good job. Let's try our next one. Same thing, write this as a decimal. When you're done, go ahead and unpause. This would be 34 hundredths. So we have three rows filled out that gives us the 30, which we can turn into three tenths and then four hundredths for a total of thirty-four hundredths. If you're feeling good about this, let's move on to the four problems. If you're still a little bit confused, go ahead and go back and watch some of those examples again. So here you go. Here are your four problems you can bring to class tomorrow. Same things we've been doing. All you have to do is write the decimal for the model shown. Go ahead and pause this till you're done, and when you're done, you're done. So thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great day.